This is going to be the outline for 1 Corinthians. And I got 59 AD. 16 chapters, 437 verses, 9,489 words. Uh, Corinthians means ornaments. And it's a book of what not to do. Mostly you're going to be seeing what not to do in this book. Uh, this is a carnal church made up of baby Christians. So that's what I think of when I think of the Corinthians. So most likely you don't want to name your church Corinthian Baptist Church. Because it's known for being the worldly church. The author, the Apostle Paul... And historically, Paul addresses the worldly ways of the church at Corinth. Devotionally, while you read the book, you can examine yourself as you read it to avoid being a worldly Christian yourself. Doctrinally, it's an epistle of correction. Now, the outline, it's got 16 chapters, and in chapter 1, it, Paul talks about how the the Corinthians are carnal and they got division problems. They, they're just dividing over every little thing. Chapter 2, he talks about worldly wisdom versus godly wisdom. You know, a lot of people may seem wise, but most likely, most people that you see that are considered wise just have worldly wisdom, but they don't have godly wisdom. Chapter 3 gets into some stuff about the judgment seat of Christ. And also about how the Corinthians have been arguing over who won them to Christ. You know, they go back and forth about and they think they're special because of who won them to Christ and things like that. Chapter 4, the job of every Christian is to teach the mysteries. You know, if you want to be a faithful steward, you need to teach the mysteries. Chapter 5, the Corinthians have trouble with fornication. And this one guy was uh, getting with his father's wife, committed fornication with her. And he Paul talks about how he needs to be kicked out, basically. Chapter 6, uh, they go to law with one another, you know, before the lost world. And Paul pretty much tells them, you know, if we're going to be judging angels one day and judging the world then surely we can judge the smallest matters amongst ourselves and not have to go out to the lost world to get judged. And Paul just shows them the proper Christian judgment. Chapter 7, you got the great chapter on divorce and marriage and remarriage. Chapter 8, he talks about meat offered to idols. Chapter 9, he talks about our liberty as a Christian. Chapter 10, um... He pulls the Old Testament and New Testament together. Chapter 11, head coverings and the Lord's Supper. He talks about those two things. The proper way to do the Lord's Supper and head coverings and things like that. He talks about, and then chapter 12, he talks about spiritual gifts. He talks about how the body, it's one body, but it's got many members. We're all members of the same body and none of us are any more or any less important than anybody else. Chapter 3, you got the great chapter on charity. Chapter 14, you got the great chapter showing you the rules for tongues and basically shows you that everybody that's speaking in tongues today is breaking all the rules that are in this chapter. And chapter 15, obviously the great chapter on the gospel, the death, burial, and resurrection, but it's also the resurrection chapter great truths on the resurrection and talks about the resurrection body that we're going to get chapter 16 he talks about the collection for the saints talks about some of his travel travel plans and then gives final instructions and that's first corinthians